What's going on everybody? It's Randy with Guitars Girls Green Grass and Guns. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Cartoon Awesomeness. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix a striping kit to sharpen your blades. So stick around and enjoy. was leaving the stripes a little bit unlevel. So I got under here and looked and one side of this had come off. You know, what it, what it takes is a 7 16 self-tapping bolt to go through there. I had to go down to the hardware store and I wound up buying just a 7 16 bolt. Hoping that would go in there, so let's try and put that in there. So as you can see, these are both the same thread patterns. I went ahead and got a, a lock washer so that these will keep from backing out on me. So let's go ahead and put it in. Well, this one's a booger. I don't think all that metal is supposed to be coming out of there. I might have just messed that hole all up. I'm pretty sure this is something that you don't want is all these metal shavings and that looks a little cross-threaded to me. So all right, yay for me. I'll stick around and I'll show you how to get around this. So now that I got the holes on this side messed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these bolts out and fix this all together and make it so that I'll never have to get back under here and retighten these or lose any more bolts. Ten-year-old roller there still does a fine job. So when you've been working all day in the heat, you really need to rehydrate. I always reach for Gold Peak iced tea. <sighs> Tasty. Now what we're going to do is chase out those holes with a drill bit. And when you're doing this, you want the drill bit to be just a hair larger than your screw, because what you're going to want to do is chase out the, the threads inside that hole. So let's drill some holes. So when it comes to drilling holes, I choose no other than rigid. Now that we have the holes drilled out, now we can go ahead and assemble this. Now if you don't take anything serious out of this video, this is serious. When you're putting these together, you want your bolt and a washer to be on one side. On the other side, what I, I have already had some lock washers, so I'm going to go ahead and use these along with nylon nuts. won't fall off for quite a while. Next we're going to take our cobalt 420 foot-pound half-inch torque driver to this and take these blades off. Just look at those crispy edges. My eyeballs really messed up. So I, once you get uh once you get your blades off of here, you want to get under here and clean all this old grass off of here. So we'll start doing that. There's a lot of ways to do this, 
But trust me, I'm a professional. This is how it goes. So when you're sharpening your blades, you don't want to skimp out on your grinder. That's why I went out and bought the Black & Decker BDEG 400. When you're sharpening your blades, you really want to be careful and make sure that you keep the same angle that's already on your blade. Oh, that's crispy. Uh, if you'll notice in here, there's a couple of ridges. When you're grinding this down, you want to get all them ridges out and make this all a solid. So you can see them ridges right there. You just want to keep grinding until those ridges come out. So one of the crucial steps in sharpening your blades is keeping them balanced. A lot of people will use a cone and set these on to make sure they're balanced or you can put it on a nail on the wall to make sure that they're balanced. I kind of find that's all a waste of time. I just stick my finger in there and it's balanced. Now that we have our blade sharpened, all we want to do is put them back on here. It has a star pattern, so it really doesn't matter how they go on there. You just slap these on here and tighten them up. You don't want to over torque them, just hand tight. All right, now that I'm done horse assing around, I'm just going to let you watch me get aggravated and put this deck back under here. Between my schedule and the rain, the nights, I just haven't been able to keep up on my yard. So we got the blade sharpened, so let's see how it does. Crispy. Thanks for sticking around and watching this episode of Sunday Morning Cartoon Awesomeness. Thanks for stopping by Guitars, Girls, Greengrass, and Guns. Leave a comment, give me a like, subscribe if you would, and have a good day. Ear. Not me. What if I told you that it wasn't real? That what you really needed? You son of a bitch. 
So what it takes is a 7 16 So one of the crucial steps in sharpening your blades is balancing bal so one of so one of the crucial steps in balancing so one of the crucial steps in sharpening your bait so, 